Hi, so this is going to be a video about what is a biosensor. And because at Zimmer and Peacock, our perspective on biosensors comes from um, electrochemistry, we are going to talk about biosensors from an electrochemical uh, perspective. Now, a few, a few um, facts about um, biosensors. And the first one is that a biosensor measures a specific molecule. So in a bit, we will be doing a demonstration um, using a glucose meter and a glucose strip. So I've just um, turned this glucose meter on. I turned it on by putting the um, sensor um, into the device. So in the case of the glucose sensor, the specific um, disease or the specific molecule rather that we're measuring is um, actually glucose. And um, it tells us something by measuring glucose it tells us something about the disease and what it's telling us is how much glucose is in my blood and the disease that we're actually interested in is diabetes and there's two types of diabetes there's type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes and um, the glucose that's telling us about the disease diabetes the glucose in this context is called the um, biomarker and biosensors work by measuring um, something from the body. So the kind of samples it could be is saliva. For example, in the case of something like COVID-19, it could be the um, urine. It could be um, the sweat in terms of things like cystic fibrosis. Um, it could be the interstitial fluid. So there's a lot of wearable sensors called CGM where they put a patch on your, on your body um, and they continuously measure the glucose. Now, in this um, particular case, we're going to measure um, glucose in the blood, and I'll do a quick demonstration on that. The first thing I'm going to do now is I'm just need I need to get some blood, so let me just um, so I've just um, pricked my finger, and I've just got some blood. What I'm going to do now is. I'm going to take the. Um, so what I've, dish, what I've just done is I've just sucked the blood up into the meter, and the meter is now doing a countdown, and it's already read it, and it's read my blood glucose, which is actually quite high, at 8.3 um, millimolar. Now um, I'll make a quick excuse that I did have some. Um, I did have dinner about an hour ago, so it's still high from dinner. But that's quite a nice demonstration of really what a biosensor is that, um, you know, we put a drop of blood on it. The sample went into the sensor and we got a reading of um, 8.3 um, millimolar. So um, a biosensor has really has a um, about four main elements to it. And these are um, a molecular recognition system. So in the case of um, the glucose strip, the um, molecular recognition system here is an enzyme, um, which is called um, GDHFAD, glucose dehydrogenase with a flavin um, center. So it's, a, it's an enzyme for glucose. We had a, sig a signal generation process. So these kind of disposable, simple to use um, sensors um, are actually electrochemical and they convert very chemical signals into, uh, um, into electrical signal. And we have a disposable sensor element and this is the, real, the key to sort of biosensors that there's a often a disposable element like a sensor like this, which is a disposable strip where you can put the sample on um, the sample was wicked into the sensor by a, um, an actual called capillary fill. It reacted with the enzyme and um, we were able to get the electrons from the glucose through the enzyme and we were able to shuttle them onto the electrode and it gives an electrical signal. And the reader, importantly, didn't just didn't give me raw signal, it actually gave me a useful answer which was 8.3 millimolar. So that um, just gives you a um, sense that it's not, you know, with a biosensor system, you can't give a raw signal. You have to have converted it or calibrated or coded it into 
and useful information. So that's it. So thank you very much for this um, very quick um, introduction to biosensors and a um, demonstration of a biosensor using the um, electrochemical glucose strip as a good example. If you have any questions, um, please reach out to us at Zimmer Peacock. Okay, thanks very much.